caution. Russell Franchise's picks are not for real real, just for play play. Welcome back to Franchise Football Frenzy, where I play the world's most dangerous game of NFL picking. I'm Russell Franchise. Last week, I went 10-6. to Hopefully, I'm going to do better this week. Big news, big story, two words. He's back. Welcome back. Your dogs were your ticket to the clink. Welcome back. I'm sure prison has made you stop and think. Michael Bick returns to the NFL after a two-year hiatus, and his timing couldn't be better. The Eagles, without their star quarterback, McNabb, are struggling to put any offense on the board. If Vic comes in, he might be enough to carry the Eagles for the time being. While the commissioner's office has cleared Vic to play this week, you still have a lot of people who are kind of agitated that a guy who did such a heinous crime would get a second chance. I, however, feel sad for the you know, dogs and puppies of America. They're kind of scared. They don't know if Vic's going to come after them. But, as a good Samaritan that I am, I've been making some phone calls to relieve the pains and pressures that some dogs are feeling. Hey, Sparky, I just wanted to tell you that Michael Vick's coming back to the NFL. I mean, he's not going to hurt anybody. I mean, it's not like they're going to put him in a shotgun, for God's sakes. I got the Eagles beating the Chiefs, much like Vic beats dogs. <laughs> That's a joke. My bad. Hope you're not scared. As teams start trying to climb their way up to the top, there's a certain group of teams that are trying to fight their way to another place. So, why don't we take a look at them at this week's segment called... I see four teams fighting their way for a shot at the number one draft pick. That draft pick might include Tim Tebow. So let's look at four teams that have a great chance right now to pick up a quarterback. And none of those four includes you, Detroit Lions. You already have one quarterback. The Jacksonville Jaguars look like they're in a great position to take the number one pick. After a dismal game against the Cardinals last Sunday, Jaguar fans are probably happy that their games are being blacked out, unless they have NFL Sunday ticket. The Rams are also in, pr in a prime position. For the past two weeks, they have only scored seven, yes, seven points so far this season. Tebow in the Rams jersey could be the motivation this team needs if they want to make it all the way to the bottom of the league. The Bucks and the Panthers also need a little bit of help in the quarterback department. Don't be surprised if you see these two defensive juggernauts dropping low to get a better quarterback. All four teams will need all the help in the world to get to the bottom of the barrel. And they'll get one step closer this week as I have the Texans over the Jags, Packers over the Rams, Cowboys over the Panthers, and the G-Men over the Bucks. Last week, the Buffalo Bills won a game against Tampa Bay in outstanding fashion. So, in a franchise exclusive, I got one of the players from the Bills. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Buffalo Bills rookie cornerback, Ellis Lancaster. Alright, now Ellis, you made some great plays out there last week. How did you accomplish most of those plays? Like um, like um, I just like um, I was like um, I was like um, like um, I was on like um, um, like um, I was on just on like um, I I was just reading right. Okay, well, you were drafted a little bit lower than everybody else in the NFL draft. What have you done to get the attention of coaches and management? I just been working hard and um, just um, been praying and stuff, and it's um and it's um coming to me. By chance, uh, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Like um, like um, I just like um, I was like um, I was like um, like um, I was on like um, um, like um, I was on like um, um, like um, I was on just on like um. You know what? Uh, that was kind of a hard question. I apologize for that. So, my final question. While the Bills are good, I actually see the Saints actually getting the easy win over the Bills. Uh, I hope you're not mad at me about that. 
You know, sir, like um, like um, I was like um, I was hearing calls from teams and stuff, but like, but like um, I went um, but like um, I went um, really mad or nothing though. Ellis Lancaster of the Buffalo Bills, thank you for stopping by. Quick hits. Brett Favre and the Minnesota Vikings are looking unstoppable, and they'll continue that streak as they go over the 49ers. The Jets are coming off a strong 2-0 start, and they'll continue to go 3-0 after they beat the lackluster Titans. Let's see. All right, I got a pick between the Redskins or the Lions. All right, both teams are horrible. Both teams are miserable. But I wonder how my idol would select this. No. Well, do it live! F it! Do it live! You know what? F it. I will go live. I'm going to take the Detroit Lions to score their first win of the season against the Redskins. Give me the Ravens over the Browns. Give me the Bears over the Seahawks. I'm going to take the Dolphins over a challenge chargered offense. This week, I got an open threat for you, Chad Ocho Cinco. What you did last week in Green Bay was unforgivable. Lambo leaping? You did the Lambo leap. No, only Green Bay Packers are supposed to do the Lambo leap. You are a Cincinnati Bengal, for God's sake. You're supposed to either commit a crime, uh, assault and battery, change your name to something that's not even a real number. I got the Steelers beating you guys. The Steelers over the Bengals. Chad Ocho Cinco, you ever come to Green Bay again? I promise you, if next time you leap, that'll be your last leap ever. This has been an open threat by Russell Franchise. In a battle of two future Hall of Famers, I see Peyton Manning and the Colts getting a close win over Kurt Warner and his Cardinals. The Broncos will pick up a easy win against the Raiders. And for the upset pick of the week, I don't think Tom Brady's able to come back after a loss against the Jets. So I'm going to take Matt Ryan and his Falcons for the upset this week. Well, those are my picks. Next week, as always, I'm going to try to do better. Hey, if you have any free time, why don't you go to russellfranchise.blogspot.com to view my musings as well as custom videos that I put up on there. Also, you can subscribe to my video channel right now at YouTube. And as always, my picks are so good, you can take them to the bank, but I wouldn't advise it.